Hey guys, I'm Nikonim and welcome back to Star Ocean 2. In the last episode, we um, rescued the village kids from the bandits in Mars. We met Diaz and uh, we're on our way to the Port of Hurley. But not before we spend some skill points. We have a few accumulated here for everybody and we need to spend them. Um, as you can see, we've got plenty of options, and aside from just uh, adding on to item creation, many of these skills also have additional benefits, like Kitchen Knife, um, it increases your strength by 20 per level. So right now, um, her level in Kitchen Knife is 1, so she's got a 20, per, or a 20 strength increase. If I were to allocate another point to that, then she would have... Um, a 40 a total increase on her strength so that's good to keep out even for characters that you don't want to use for cooking that's a really handy way to increase strength and things like that but let's see Farina well first we'll start for Claude because I know what I want to do with him uh, Claude I want to be our art guy so art is sketching and aesthetic sense, if I can hit the right buttons, yeah, sketching and aesthetic sense. I like giving him this talent, I usually do, um, just, you know, because you can make some cool things, you can make, uh, rarely, if you get magical clay, you can make another one of those treasure chests, it's hard to do, but if you work hard enough at it and you keep saving and loading, um, with determination you can make another one of those treasure chests that we stole from the old man it'll probably take a good long time um, I've never done it personally but I've heard you can do it so there's that um, I'm also gonna just give everybody a little bit like one of each sort of deal just so you know everybody knows everything and that'll be useful later on for getting more skill points because I'll show you in a second. I'm not going to do copying yet though. That's the exception to the rule. And so are these, the um, battles. So we'll just do one of everything for Claude right now. Celine gets, um, we want her metalwork skills to go up, which mineralogy, craft, and aesthetic sense. There's a specific item I want to make with mineralogy and there's something I want to demonstrate. So we're going to give her mineralogy and see how mineralogy even though we're upping the level it stays at um, 1 SP that's because we maxed out perseverance which makes all of these way easier to learn and another great thing about giving Celine mineralogy is that it increases her intelligence which she's a mage so she needs that also craft which is increases her agility not a bad thing at all and let's see We'll go for a stud. Uh, no. Yeah, there we go. There. And we'll keep her... Mm, no. She's fine just as she is. Or wait, what's... What's scout? I forget. There's another cool skill. Um, danger sense. There's another cool skill that you can use to get um, a certain mineral that you're not supposed to be able to get until way later in the game that will help you out. I want her to have it too. Where'd it go? There it is. Alright, and Farina... I haven't decided yet. I have not decided yet for her. She might yet have something else because I think the next village, not Hurley, but the one after that has um, more skills for us to buy. But anyway! What I wanted to show you was this. Um, this is metalwork. I think I gave a brief demonstration on how to do stuff like this. I, maybe. Maybe I did it in cooking. Anyway, if I didn't, this is item creation, specifically metalwork. Um, you just choose the ore that you want, the person. It'll always give you the person with the highest skill, or in this case, the only person who can do the skill, which is Celine. Um, it'll always give you them, but if you have multiple people that can do it like for survival. Oh, I thought I had everybody learn survival. Oh no, they learned scouting. I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. Uh, cooking. There we go. See where it says L2 and R2? You can scroll between characters using those particular buttons to decide who you want to cook things. And uh, 
certain people can do certain things. There's a skill later on where you can modify your own weaponry and people can only, I believe, modify weapons that they can equip. So yeah, anyway, metalworking. Um, this is one that I like to give to Celine for a very specific reason and that's because at the moment she's the only one who can learn it, I think. Oh well, don't quote me on that. But she's definitely the best at it in my opinion. Um, if you, you just do it like that, <laughs> you, ooh, sorry for the lag, and it will attempt to make something, and you know that you failed if it says something like that, a little disclaimer, goodness darling, how awful. But what we're trying to do, and it's easier later when there's a skill called orchestra, or a super specialty skill rather, that's also failing. Jeez, okay, it shouldn't take more than... It should not take more than three times for Celine to learn this. I don't know why it is. I guess I'm... It went fine when I was testing it, but I guess I'm unlucky right now. Oh, gosh, are you serious? Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I'm going to reload my save state because that was a hell of a lot of waste. BRB. Right, so, um, yeah. Let's try this again. It should happen. We're trying to unlock her skill called Dexterity. Remember we had Rena start with that? That is the skill that applies to this particular talent. And when I was doing it in practice, she learned it, like, immediately. But for some reason right now, she's not. And I have no idea why. But she's just not learning it. And I do not want to waste all of those materials if she's not going to learn the damn skill. Come on. And as you notice, we just keep failing over and over. Because if you don't have the skill that applies, you probably aren't going to be very successful. Alright, I reloaded again. Let's try... Um, sometimes with save states, you have to move around the items to get things to change up with item creation. It's weird, I know, but... Let's, oh, lag. Let's try this again. There we go. Celine's secret talent, Dexterity, has opened up. Um, the benefit to this, aside from, you know, now being able to make things, which I'll show you in a second, is this. A hundred skill points for opening up Dexterity, which I'm going to put right back into, um, <laughs> right back into metalwork. And I'm actually going to save those 24 points because, as you can see, I'm going to need 100 more to max out metalwork. But there's a really good reason. I use Celine for metalwork and I use her for alchemy. Because, I mean, mineralogy is an expensive skill uh, overall and it, they cross. So why not get two skills for the price of one, essentially? But scientific ability and fairyology. Uh, alchemy will be very useful. Um, it makes these for you out of it makes the different minerals out of iron so buying iron as you can imagine is a lot cheaper than acquiring diamonds if you can manage to make it work so yeah um that'll be useful a bit later but right now i want a very specific thing out of this green barrel i want something called an emerald ring which i know you wouldn't think would come out of green barrel but it does and um it might not work on the first time so if it doesn't then I will come back to you when I get it to work yeah there we go an emerald ring a ring possess a possessing heraldic powers that reduces its wares MP consumption to two-thirds of its normal rate that is exactly what I wanted and it didn't take very long. Okay, nice. The reason I wanted that was not actually for Celine. It was for Rena. Because if you notice, her spells, they don't cost much. You know, like 11, 18. Um, not bad. But, I mean, I guess I could give it to Celine for now until we really need Rena's healing spells. That co Those both, both use 10 MP. But with the emerald ring equipped if I can find it there it is also these sell for a nice hefty price so if you just happen to have a lot of green um, 
green barrel lying around and you want to make them, I think they sell for almost 20,000 fowl if you need it and you don't want to use playfulness. But watch this. I'm pretty happy about this. And it helps with the higher cost spells. Down to six. So, I mean, it's almost half. It's two thirds. So it's not technically half, but it's almost half. Um, that goes a pretty long way towards, you know, lengthening her usefulness as far as MP. Anyway, so that is it for, um, oh, I forgot to save over that. Oopsie. Well, we're gonna do it now. That is it as far as, um, stuff to make for now. And we're gonna head on over, not to there. Not there. Although I guess I could do a private action there since we won't be here for a while. Um, I don't remember if anything particular happens, but if it doesn't, then I'll just cut it out. That was fun. My computer crashed, but nothing happened with Celine, so... Claude, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Reyna. I was just looking at the sky. The sky? You're looking at the sky again? I guess he does this commonly. You were doing that in Salva, too. Claude likes the sky in your world. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's cloudy. <laughs> yeah, that's how skies work, Claude. It has so many faces I never tire of it, how ma no matter how often I watch it. Say, Rena, what kind of sky do you like the best? Who, oh, me? Why are you so shocked? Oh my gosh. There are lots of skies. The night sky, the glowing sundown, right? Or don't you like the sky? Hmm. Um. Alright, well, personally, I'm a big fan of nighttime because I'm a night owl. So, yeah, I love starlit skies because I'm awake and nobody else is. It's beautiful. The best time of day is night. <laughs> but I think Rena, I don't think she's a red sky person, though I think she likes sunset. I think she likes deep blue skies. She seems like a deep blue sky kind of girl. Maybe a deep blue sky? A perfectly clear sky that stretches forever and makes you feel like you can almost fly. But I have no wings, so I can't take off. That's depressing. If you have no wings, then swim. You could fly like you were swimming in water. That's kind of poetic, Claude. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, I guess so. See? <laughs> Claude, you're quite the romantic. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I, maybe they strengthened their bond. But there was nothing between um, her and Celine to talk about. Celine just said, uh, oh, Mars is nice. And that's it. She said it exactly like that. Yeah, we know. Go to Hurley. So I'm sorry this episode's been kind of dry, I guess. It was mostly, like, mostly just, like, skills and item things and nothing fun. We'll try and get through Hurley and get to the core. We will see if we can do that. That shouldn't be hard. I feel like I should do a... Oh, yeah, that's right. I should. I believe something happens. Well, where should I go visiting? Anywhere you want. I believe. If you go in here, dream... Oh, no. It's not during private action. I thought there was something there. Maybe I am mistaken. It's quite possible. It's very easy for me to be mistaken because I'm wrong all the time. About everything. I am not an authority on anything. Like, literally, pretty much anything. Ask me something, I'll probably be wrong about it. I'll give you an answer. I'll probably be wrong. Forewarning, you have been warned. I know a little bit about a lot of things, and probably half of it's wrong. So, there's that. Uh, I don't know why Claude or Celine would be in a... Why are you lagging? Oh my god. I don't know why they'd be in a hotel room. Maybe they need some private time. Rena walks in and gets jealous, and oh god, it's a love square. Can you have a love square? 
Oh my god, I'm getting out of this hotel. Look at that lag. Lag hotel from hell. Ooh, gold. Not foul either, just gold. I don't know if I looked in these people's houses for chests. No, I didn't. Hi, kid. I'm taking it. Ring of sadness. That's depressing. I don't remember what it does either. I'm not going to equip it, but I'm going to look at it. Lowers the wearer's attack and... Oh! Hmm. That could be useful in some situations. Not right now, though. Obviously, I didn't go in there and look. Yeah, this is the food place. I remember that. Oh, Celine, hi. I can tell this is a harbor town. There's such a variety of seafood here. Nothing to do with Celine, then. Claude? Claude, where are you? Claudy, you got some slanting to do. Probably. He's always getting into shit. Probably starting a bar fight. No? No, he's not even in here. No tavern is called the Wild Man. The Wild Man Tavern. No, okay, I like sapphires, but I don't need one right now. Where'd he go? Did he just disappear? I guess so. He just poofed off. Out of I don't know why he'd be in this giant mansion. Well, that's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he's in here. We came in here earlier, remember? Um, for weapons and stuff. Stop it! Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that lag. Maybe if I just talk in slow motion during the lag and speed it up. That'll sound totally normal, right? Normal. Oh, now it's not lagging. Well, damn. There goes my whole plan up in smoke. Damn it. Okay. Well, I can't find Claude. So I, I'm gonna assume there's not a private interaction with him in this town. I'm probably like dumb and looking right past him. That's entirely possible. Actually, that's that's not only possible. That's probable. That is most likely what. The, yeah, he's right there. Yep. Look, sailing ships. I think men on any world lo have a love for ships. On any world? Yeah, you don't sound weird and alien at all, Claude. Weird. Alright. I thought there was a private action. Ah, yes, I was right. Who do you think we are? I knew there was. Ha! You're a Zan's petty minions, right? You might have some gall insulting Zan to like that. This sounds like exactly what it is. Zan sounds like like the bee villain. You can't do squat without your buddies, so you ought to keep your trap shut. Screw you! Marina's curious. Oh, she can't just walk past. Uh, it's awful. You've got to stop them, clearly. This is awful! We have to stop them! You can take them, Marina. What are you doing? I'll scream! Yeah, she will. Looky here, someone's in the way. You're in luck. Remember, next time you're not going to get off so easy. <laughs> That's what he said? I don't think he should say that, but it's probably what he said. Are you okay? Are you injured? Damn, that was completely uncalled for. Uncalled for? Is that something to say to someone who saves your life? Do you know what you've done? You might as well have just made yourself a target of those guys. You're welcome. Ungrateful. Wait, where are you going? Well, okay, I guess I should say thanks. My name is Yule. See you. Yeah, I don't remember who that is or what good that it does, but I remember it. Yeah. Wait a second. Oops. Well, that happened. That was the thing, and we did it. Oh, well. If you remember, up at the top, the big old mansion, that was Zan's. The bee villain. Yep, I know. We gotta go right back in. Gold, yay. And we gotta go to the boat. Because where else would we go? You wanna cross to the continent of the core? That'll be 90 foul. Yep, take me over there, buddy. Look at us on a boat. 
I've actually never been on a boat before. No, that's a lie. I was on a boat to go from San, uh, San Francisco proper to Alcatraz Island. That's the only time I've ever been on like a, a large-ish boat. But it wasn't for a long time. It was like a really quick ride. It was like 20 minutes. But it was really cool. I don't get seasick or anything. But I like the cold because I'm uh, from the frigid north, well, Midwest. But yeah. All right, here we are in the port of Hilton. Um, we're all out of time today, but next episode we're going to explore Hilton. Um, there's not much here, but we're going to explore what there is and then move right on to Le Corps. See you guys!